What's happening guys, Zaid Alpha here with FitAlpha.com. In this video, I wanna to talk to you about the depressing truth about food in America and eating healthy. When a lot of people ask for my opinion on you know, what an ideal diet looks like or what to eat, they're usually shocked because the options I give them eliminate about 80 to 90% of the foods in most grocery stores. And I've, I've said this a lot before, but this video, I wanna to talk to you about A, what foods are optimal based on my research and experience and why that can be really difficult for some people, but why it's worth it. <laughs> and so the, the foods that I, that I eat are grass-fed meat, organic chicken, um, wild-caught fish, local eggs, and organic fruit. And I, the most ideal version of this is that you get all these food options locally, either from a farmer's market or a local farm in your area. This is the most optimal ideal version. And you only eat the fruit seasonally, um, you're not getting your food travel thousands of miles, go through hours and hours of processing before it ends up on your table. It's you're getting the closest thing to the original animal or the fruit itself. And so that's the most ideal version. And now that's not an option for everybody. Farmers markets are seasonal. It's not easy for everyone to link up with a farm and, and get everything or it might be too expensive. So your next best, best bet is to get these options at the a grocery store. To you know, go to your local store, whether it's a giant Safeway, Whole Foods, um, local health store, Trader Joe's, whatever. Get your organic, grass-fed meats, wild-caught fish, eggs, and fruits there. Notice I'm keeping most vegetables out because that a lot of vegetables actually contain anti-nutrients and fibers that we can't digest well, or they have to be prepped um, and cooked in very specific ways so that they don't upset our stomach. You might notice that excuse me, when you eat certain vegetables, legumes, get a lot of bloating, a lot of gas, a lot of discomfort. It's because there's a lot of sugars and a lot of fibers in, you know, fruits that we just can't digest. They're, it's like they're, you know, they're a defense mechanism. You know, they can't fight back when we eat them, but they can make us sick so that we stop. So, stuck to fruit, I get my antioxidants and, you know, micronutrients and fiber from that, and I haven't had any issues. I do still eat things like uh, spinach and you know dried coleslaw. I'll make my own coleslaw at home. Um, but outside of that, I just stick with those foods. Now with fruit, aside from berries, I'll still I'll still eat coconut. I love coconut, um, olives, and avocados. Those are all very low sugar fruits, super high in omega threes, healthy fats, and they're they're amazing for you know antibacterial, antifungal effects. So they can really heal the gut, and they fill you up very quickly. So this, this is important because, again, most people just think eating healthy means you just eat more vegetables or you eat low fat, and that's not true. Um, and it can be difficult to eat this way because you are eliminating 99% of foods. And eating out pretty much just becomes like a no-go because you're guaranteed to get processed food, local quality sources of meat uh, and protein, and low quality everything. More than likely, they're cooking with seed oils, so hydrogenated forms of, of fat that are really, really difficult to burn and just wreak havoc on our gut. And so it, it's difficult. And if you, if you need to simplify it in, you know, in, in other ways so that you know, it's not so disturbing to you, or this might still be disturbing, is you want to cut out four main things. You want to cut out added sugar, grains, caffeine, and just non-food items so the the chemicals the almost every packaged food that has you know these chemicals that are there to preserve it etc etc so if you're not eating packaged foods and you keep grains caffeine and the first one that i said that my brain completely farted away you'll be good um so what's the benefit of doing this and, and going through this is, you know, even if you do, do this literally just for 10 days, the first three to five days might be rough, your body might be detoxing, your energy might be really low, might be super groggy, you might literally feel depressed and just want to do nothing but sleep. And I've gone through this a couple of times. But after that, your energy would regulate. No more high spikes and, and low drops in energy. You get hungry only when you're actually hungry for real food. And after you eat, you don't get tired and sleepy. Um, most skin issues I was dealing with disappeared when I ate healthy. Um, bowel movements became regular and comfortable. Um, muscle aches went away. Sleep got better. Regular wake time, regular sleep time. 
Um, felt amazing after training. I used to feel really tired after I trained because I would always drink caffeine before and started training and, and that started that started giving me energy and regulating my endorphins and dopamine. So it's worth it for so many reasons, but really the main one being is that if you don't make these changes, you know, the food industry is not going to change. They want you to be addicted to shit food because it also keeps you sick and it's just part of the whole system that turns you into a sick animal that's just addicted to all kinds of things. It's really easy to, to milk you out of money. Um, that's reason number one. Um, but it's, it's really one of the few ways that you can really, really take control of your life and your health outside of moving your body and training your body. And you know, the, the knowledge and the, the, the information that you consume. Because food is also information. It's information that's going into your body and your body's either using this information to keep you healthy, strong, and intelligent, and thriving, or it's making you brain fogged, anxious, depressed, sad, lonely, and constantly, constantly addicted to different things. So, meant for this video to be a little bit shorter and not as depressing as it turns into, but again, bad news is good news if you can make a change, and if you still have things that are left within your control to make a change which you do. If you stuck around this far, props to you. In the next video, I'm gonna very quickly walk you guys through what I eat in a day and how simple it actually is to eat healthy.